Welcome to the Numerology and the Astrology for April 28th, 2021. We're almost to May. <sighs> okay. And um, if you add all those numbers together, you get the number 19. And if you add the 1 and the 9 together, you get the number 10. The number 10 is about radiance and courage and boldness and entrepreneurship and making your own choices and decisions and standing in your power. And the number 10 supports the boldness that the Pluto retrograde, which is starting today, encourages. Change follows choice. What are the choices that each of us need to make? Now's the time. Destiny is forward, never backward. It comes down to whether you are willing to stand up and stand in your power. Opportunities always arise. The guides and angels give us many repeating options for change, growth, and evolution. But humanity loves its habits. We love to repeat those things that we enjoy. Um, we are habitually addicted, addictive by nature. We wallow in a multitude of indulgent ways that are counterproductive for our growth. And now... We're running out of time. Much was pushed under the rug, and if we do not make very conscious choices, much of that control might just slip right out of our hands. Are you willing? Are we waiting? Are we wanting? Are we intentional in our choices? We will soon find out together. The astrology today. Okay. Retrogrades always have this negative association and, and, you know, the Pluto retrograde goes retrograde for like six months. So it obviously has a, a big um, negative association, but things can be used. All things can be used for a positive tool if they promote and support new possibilities. And this backwards dance is in the slow motions of Capricorn. So it's, it's, in, you know, we've had this before, but we're kind of coming towards the end of these Pluto retrogrades that will happen. And yeah, there will be one next year and yeah, there will be one the following year. But this one in particular, you know, tries to slow us down. And Pluto rules the deeper places in the mind, the subconscious, the powers of regeneration. Pluto moves slowly, but can have long-term effects. Because Pluto continues in Capricorn, the reviews of this retrograde will continue to shift the business structure and transform it into something completely new, which that's pretty obvious, right? So when we look out in the world and how much all of us are using Zoom and, and the internet and, and, you know, the phones for business and yeah, I mean, business has really changed and, and it's not going back. So Pluto will be teaching us until early October and its lesson is all about inauthenticity. We are going to be forced to face brutal truths. Radical honesty and accountability are required by Pluto, and those that perpetuate conversations to the contrary will meet with dire consequences. It's Pluto. It has nothing to do with me. It's just Pluto. Pluto is pushing us to evolve. Uranus is breaking us of bad habits in the physical world. At the same time, Jupiter asks us to look past the obvious and expand our potential in Aquarius. Saturn gives us the determination to go forward and progress into a new manifestation. Expect to see things continue to be exposed. Showing what is dysfunctional is only one part of solving a more significant problem. The Pluto retrograde slows us down to see that the transformational prog progress in the physical world is much more complicated than just exposing the truth from the lies. Let yourself sit and wait for the promptings of the universe. Now is not the time to push, but to reflect. The moon will be in the investigative sign of Scorpio until almost noon on the East Coast, and then it will go into Sagittarius, inciting bold and brave new adventures. Um, freedom wins over the ongoing conflicts at hand. It makes us realize that disputes will always be there. Um, that's just the way of life. But if you can feel more confident in your choices and actions, everyone will be more courageous as we advance. And like we need everyone to be more courageous as we advance. Okay, my quote for today. Change follows choice. Nice and simple, clean. There we go. And then my blog. Not so simple. <laughs> okay. Um, I wish 
to look into the eyes of time. I wish to take my hand, many hands in mine. I wish to see all the places we have gone. I wish to remember those things bygone. I know that life passes and we forget those times. I know that life is a feeling complicated and sublime. I know that life pretends conflict is too much. I know that life requires us to follow that hunch. I love the patterns of life that change. I love the patterns of energy that constantly rearrange. I love the flow of the wind through my hair. I love the flow of reading in a rocking chair. Can we discover what has been lost and true? Can we reclaim that connection between me and you? Will this world ever find peace? Will we ever get war to cease? I will continue to hold the light of hope high. I will refuse to let the dreams of billions die. I shudder at the petty things that politicians choose. I am shocked to see them continue the ruse. But even more, I witness the greater horror I see the one that refuses to listen to us, bourgeoisie. They manipulate those that cannot see. They make us fight and not agree. How can we heal when politicians tear at the scab? We cannot evolve if we are given knives to stab. Thanks, everyone.